Hey guys, it's Luna. So today we plan to make this pretty boy that I just saw on Instagram. I don't really have a sketch for him because I literally took the screenshot and went down to the basement to make him. So this is going to be a fun ride, I guess. I want to explain kind of the process that I have in mind. I don't know if it's going to work out this way, but I think it will. So in the ad, it was um, a video ad and he moved his teeth against each other making like a clicking sound and he's called the chatterer if you can read that so plan is to make an actual moving lower jaw but this outer area of the mask will not move because it's held in place by these kind of hooks that pull the skin away so all of this outer shell will be fixed but this lower jaw part will be loose and mobile based on the movements of your chin so if you have seen the video, um, we have made one of these before. We have made a mask that can move its jaw. Um, I think it was the Walker 2.0. So I want to try and use this technique and make kind of a 3.0 moving mask type thing. So I will be using this template because it fits me pretty well. Um, and I intend to wear this mask and absolutely traumatize everybody who rings my doorbell on Halloween. I will show you the process on this mask, but if you use this guy that we made, you know, based on your personal measurements, you can absolutely use him, but before doing anything, cover him with foil, so cellophane. I will now begin to sketch on this white mask here. So plan is obviously to extend the forehead, because these are always in this weird cut and I always have to put stuff on top. It doesn't really matter. It needs to be wider here as well. Um, there's going to be a lot of weight on that mask because he's a meaty boy. I want to make these lines here pretty pronounced. So there needs to be a lot of clay on that guy. Then we have to figure out, I think it's about this wide. This would be like the ends of his mouth. So, as you can see, it does a little bit of a downturn here and then goes up again. I will use this downturn and put it exactly here on the tip of the nose. So this part here is all covered by the mouth and teeth. So we will go from the nose and slightly upward. Then obviously his eyes do not start this far in, so we have to tape the eyes here shut a bit. He has a big opening for his mouth, so in any case we will have to extend the lower jaw beyond this mask template. So probably also beyond your mask template. I think I will just use the tip of the chin here to put this lip on. So it will sit like this. That should give us enough space. I will not use these holes for the rubber band and I will also not use the regular rubber bands. This mask is going to be heavy and for attaching it to your head and moving the jaw I will use these rubber bands here that are a bit wider than what we usually have. So I think I will attach these on around the height of the nose because this is where it needs to sit snug if you want to move the jaw right. I'm not sure about the lips, I will probably remove them because this looks to be pretty straightforward. I mean, the teeth need to hit each other to make this clicking sound. And I think I will make the teeth maybe out of polymer clay or maybe out of spackle so that it does make that clicking sound. Definitely not of cardboard because you will not hear it. You will hear something, but it will not be quite the noise we're going for. Obviously also we will turn this in as well, leaving just two relatively small holes. So obviously some portion of the jaw has to be cut off to move. 
I'm just trying to figure out where to go with that. Because this lower part of the mask, everything that's the hooks and below, will be attached. So it's not this mask here, it's an extra piece that we put in and attach to this upper piece so that everything in here can move. I'm not convinced on the measurements and dimensions of the lower half of the face where the action needs to happen and I can't be bothered to figure it out now so what I will do is start on the top. So basically I will finish this entire half of the face so from the top of the head to the nose including um, shaping the eyes including attaching the rubber band on the sides and then I think we'll meet again to figure out what to do here